Mike. Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with the bull. I'm really excited to make this video, y'all. I'm really excited to make this video because I'm looking at all options for the Minnesota Viking for the backup. Is it Jaron Hall? Is it Nick Mullins? Or possibly Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, the future backup of the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, I was just looking up some things. I was looking up his stats. And I'm going to just keep it all the way real. In 2017, I'm not going to talk about the whole year because we're not going to even go that route. As Minnesota Viking fans, we're not going to talk about the NFC Championship game. We're not talking about nothing else besides Carson Wentz in the regular season. He was almost the MVP in 2017. He played 13 games. In his 13 games, he absolutely was a monster. He was a beast. I was looking up his highlights. When you get a chance for all the Minnesota Viking fans, because I'll probably like, stop the cat. Nah, bruh. Nah. You're like, nah, Mike, what are you thinking? I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. Look at the highlights of 2017. I'm, I know it's a long way from 2017, and he's been going through a lot of injuries, but he was almost just the potential of getting a quarterback. He's only 30 years old, y'all. Well, how old is he? 30. I believe he's 30 years old. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. He played 13 games and was almost the MVP. He teared his ACL. I remember the play. I think he was trying to dive in the end zone and he teared his ACL. I was watching the highlights, y'all. Watch the highlights when y'all get a chance. The way he was just juking defenders, not necessarily going for the first down. He would literally buy, he was a dual threat, but he wasn't the typical dual threat quarterback. He was more like, I'm looking downfield to pass the ball most of the time. But he will scramble to get that first yard, get that first down, I meant to say. He will scramble to get that first down. That was his biggest issue because it seemed like he didn't get down quick enough, and that's why he keeps on getting hurt. But, man, the way he played in 2017 was unbelievable. If he was a Minnesota Viking in 2017 and he teared his ACL, the Minnesota Viking fans, I know, I, I know we would not give up on him like the Eagles did. The Eagles got lucky. They got lucky because when he came back from injury, he wasn't the same. He lost that swag. He lost his swag. When they won the Super Bowl with Nick Foles, he said, man, how am I supposed to come back to this team? Have an MVP caliber season again and, and, and win the dang on Super Bowl. All that. How am I supposed to do that? In Philly. You know how Philadelphia fans are. I'm Philly everything besides football, you know. I'm six of Phillies, Flyers, you know. I'm a hybrid sports fan. I know how they are because I'm mostly Philly besides football. Because I bleed purple. Minnesota Viking for life. Blame the greatest wide receiver of all time, number 84, Randy Moss. You see that Adrian Peterson jersey, but that's not what I'm talking about, y'all. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is... Just imagine, I, I don't even think Kirk Cousins will even want that type of pressure because Carson Wentz would apply that pressure to Kirk Cousins and possibly be a better, like better fit for Kevin O'Connell in, in this type of offense because he can, I don't know how he is now because he has been, he's been hurt. But if he's anything like 2017, just 75% of it or what, like 75, 65% of it. Wow. Just wow. Like, straight up beast mode. And I know we would have never, we as Minnesota Vikings fans would have, we would have never gave up on him because that was, a, that was a good year for him. And they just got lucky and drafted Jalen Hurts. So he lost his swag and then they drafted Jalen Hurts in the second round. It was just a domino effect. It just, his confidence just kept going down and down. He just kept getting injured. Went to the Colts. Actually was having a really good year with the Colts. Um, was having 
and, and even in 2019, he was having a good year. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just them injuries catch up to you, man. 2019, uh, what else? What else? 2019, 2021. He's, he's, oh, man. Being behind Kirk Cousins as the second string, he would not, he would not want this. I'm going to keep it real. I'm looking at his stats, 3,700. His rookie, like, it, it's just like 2016, he got drafted. He threw for 3,782. Um, MVP year, of course, it was 33 touchdowns, seven interceptions, and that was only in 16 games, right? No, no, not 16 games, 13 games. I'm sorry, 13 games. He is consistently throwing for 3,000 plus besides it just 2020 he got hurt. Just besides the years he got hurt with the Washington Wizards, got hurt. Colts, you know what I mean? I mean, he, he still had a pretty good season with the Colts through for 3,563 yards. Wow, 27 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. He is really talented, has a big arm. He knows what to do with the ball for the most part. He only had one season where he was really just throwing interceptions. It wasn't even that much. Really think about it. In 2020, he didn't have the best year, obviously. He only he threw 16 touchdowns and he threw for 15 interceptions. That was the year where they were just like, I'm done. Jalen Hurts, get in the game. <laughs> get, get you're the starter now. But he has potential. And like and and I'm not trying to think about him replacing Kirk Cousins. But just think about it, right? If Kirk Cousins happens to go down, imagine having Carson Wentz as second string. I know Kirk wouldn't want it because of the confidence. He might, he might not want that. But it's not about what he wants. We're trying to win a Super Bowl. We want to put all options on the table. If Jaron Hall isn't the guy, we know Nick Mullins isn't a, the guy. I don't even know why he's the best so far. We got to see what Jaron Hall does in the, against the Cardinals this next preseason game. But just imagine Carson Wentz, the potential. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Thank you for vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button when you get a chance. But, yeah, man, it's it's definitely a thought. So when y'all get a chance, um, definitely look up the 2017 season. Just look him up, man. He was a beast. At one point, he was one of the best quarterbacks in the, in the NFL. He definitely was. He was definitely one of the best. And I think and he's still, I think he's 30 years old. And he might be better under Kevin O'Connell than Kirk Cousins is. And we know how good Kirk Cousins is. Kirk Cousins, the only thing that he has on Carson Wentz is because he doesn't get injured and he's more accurate. I'm going to say this. Everything else, if Carson Wentz can somehow stay healthy for the full season, and I know that's a big if. He's more talented than, than Kirk Cousins. Way more talented. You know what I mean? I'm just keeping it real, y'all. I know this is like, people are probably like, nah, but just look at the stats and look at his game. Look at the stats, look at his game. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Should we go after Carson Wentz? Is Carson Wentz the next? Is he, is he going to be the backup of the Minnesota Vikings? Ask yourself that. Because there's a lot of rumors, a lot of teams are interested in Carson Wentz. There is a few teams Interested in Carson Wentz right now. What if the Minnesota Vikings make that move? Never know. I'm trying to win a championship, man. It, it, you see how in 2017 he went down. They had a good backup, Nick Foles. I'm just saying. You never know what could possibly happen. So we got to have all options on the table. And I don't have the best confidence in Nick Mullins. I'm hoping Jaron Hall, when he plays with the Cardinals, he does his thing. But... Forget all that. This is a guarantee right here. If he's healthy, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. He's the second string quarterback. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out.